All right guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So today we're at the gym. Obviously it's been a while. It's been about uh, eight months since I talked to you guys. I figured I'd bring you guys along. I wanted to start doing some workout videos. Um, it's been something I've been thinking about for a while and I picked back up the camera and we're gonna get back into it. So today I have a chest workout and I'm gonna do a little bit of core with it and then I have some cardio at the end. But for now, I'm gonna jump in there. We're gonna figure it out, we're gonna get started and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. This ain't no G, this shit smoking, this shit thrust for real. This that shit that had you choking and got Kuka killed. Niggas chasing clout and claiming bodies they ain't do for real. And my bitch got ass shots, but I promise that this strap is real. So to start things off, I just grabbed one of the resistance bands and I did three sets of 12 reps for chest band pulls just to get everything loosened up, get a little bit of a burn, then we're gonna hop to the bench press. So I did my warm up set first. I did 10 reps of 90 pounds, and you'll see here, I was just getting loose and making sure I was ready to go as I started up in the weight a little bit. Currently, my max is 190 pounds, so this was a comfortable warm up for me, just to make sure I was ready to go. After that, I bumped up to 135, and we did this for three sets of five reps. And my big focus here was just making sure that I was controlling the weight as I was moving it, getting good, clean reps, and continuing that process through all three sets. Now I was bumping up a little bit. I just went up to 155. I did this for one set and just did it for three reps. Again, just making sure that all my reps were clean. After that, I bumped up to 175 and I did it for one set and one rep. And to finish it off, I'd throw on the 25 and I would do 185 for one set and one rep. You'll see here on my last rep that I was pretty fatigued and my left side came up a little bit quicker than my right side. But regardless, we still hit it and it's not like the rep was that bad, so I was, I was fine with it. After that, I would jump into incline dumbbell bench press, and I would do four sets total, and we'd start with 12 reps, then go to 10, 8, and then we'd finish with 5, starting at 40 pounds, and then making our way up. For my second set, I'd pick up the 45s and I'd do those for 10 reps. Going into my third set, I'd pick up the 50s and I'd do those for eight reps.
And then for the last set here, I'd pick up the 60s and I'd do those for five reps. After that, I would go to a lower cable fly and I would do these for three sets of 12 reps a piece. So after that, I went to chest dips. I did three different sets of chest dips and the first two sets were 10 reps with the last set being 12 reps. After that, I did three sets of 12 reps on the chest fly machine and I increased the weight by about 10 pounds after every set. So I finished up the chest workout with three sets of 10 reps for push-ups and I changed the variation of push-up with each rep. All right guys, so that's pretty much the, uh, the upper body workout. Uh, finished up with some regular push-ups, incline push-ups, and then decline push-ups. So we're gonna jump into core, and do some cardio, and that'll be a wrap for tonight. For the core work, I kept it pretty simple. I did three sets of ab wheel with the first set being 10 reps, the second set being seven reps, and then the last set being five reps. For the second core workout, I did heel taps and I did three sets for 30 seconds apiece. So for the cardio routine, I did something that I've done in a few videos in the past. I did incline interval training. So I had the treadmill set to 12% incline and 10 miles per hour. And then I would be on the treadmill sprinting for 20 seconds. And then I would be off recovering for 40 seconds. And I would do this for 10 reps. So a total of 10 minutes. If you're looking for a new cardio workout to try, I would highly recommend this. It's something that I always like to incorporate and you get great work out of it. And it's definitely something that you feel at the end of your workouts. So here I was in the last three of the interval training. This is the home stretch. Those last few for anybody who does this workout, you know how much they suck, but you don't stop there. You're almost done. So I finished up these last three and I got off the treadmill for good tonight. So that concluded the workout. Uh, I felt like it was a pretty good workout and I enjoyed it a lot. And I had a lot of fun filming it. So I know this style of video is a little bit different from anything else that I've uploaded. But I really felt like trying out something new. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It means a lot. And if there's anything specific that you would want to see in future workout videos or just videos in general, let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas. It means a lot. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.